This program was made before the current legislation on health and safety had been passed. Suppose two cars are approaching this crossroads. One car, the red car, is travelling at 30 miles an hour, 13.5 metres per second. The second, blue car, is approaching along the road at a constant speed of 40 miles per hour, 19 metres per second. How can we tell if they're going to collide? So. How do we capture the total picture of all the velocities of all the points on the piston, the crank and the connecting rod all at once? Well, to find out, we have to freeze the motion. Such as at this instant of the cycle. The picture of all the velocities at a given instant is, of course, the velocity diagram. Now, I'm going to go briefly through the construction of a velocity diagram for a slider crank mechanism. Well, what the velocity diagram tells us depends entirely on one's viewpoint, because the velocity diagram is really about relative velocities. So the idea of a velocity has no meaning unless it is specifically related to a point of reference. In that way, all velocities are relative velocities. How I see the motion of other points around me will depend upon my own motion. Well, this velocity diagram is to drive a sliding link backwards and forwards along a straight line. Now, in this case, this long link is pivoted at the bottom. This means that the top of the link will move in a circular arc so we need a coupler to straighten out the arc, as it were, to give the required rectilinear motion. 